Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And I am back with another gardening video. So today it is the very tail end of January. We have waited as long as possible. And I'm going to be planting muscari bulbs. So muscari, I will put a little picture up on the screen, but they're like little grape hyacinths is what they call them. I've never planted any, but I believe they're a mix kind of between a hyacinth and a tulip. Um, they're small little itty bitty babies. I've seen my mom plant them in Colorado. They do need chill time like tulips or daffodils. So mine have been in a fridge for the last 12 weeks. And I will show you a close-up, but they are starting to sprout. So we need to get them in the ground. My tulips that I planted um, at the beginning of the month are already starting to come up. So definitely, well, half of the tulips. I planted two different varieties and half are up and the other aren't. So they're obviously different seasons, um, but that's fine. That's good. That means we'll have different interests. I'm going to plant the muscari kind of um, right on the sides of where some of these tulips will be here and back here. So we have 20 pink muscari and 25 baby blue. These are a purple uh, tulip back here and these are a pink. So I think we might do pink here and blue muscari over there or maybe pink over there and blue over here. It's relevant. We're gonna plant the muscari needs to be about five or six inches deep. And while you can plant one bulb per hole, you wanna plant about five or six to a spot so that they can cluster together. So we're gonna plant five or 10 here, five, 10 here, and the same over there. If they grow well here and I like them, we may do more next year, but I just did a baby order this year because not 100% sure how they're gonna grow in our zone. This is an 8B here in Alabama. So let's get started. Um, I also have 25 drumstick allians that I must have ordered. Don't remember that, but we'll pop those in somewhere too. We got them. All right, so we're going to plant about 10 right in here. We've got tulips kind of back in here. So we want to tuck the muscari in between the tulips and the pansies. Since it is spring, we are getting ready to clean out all the lambs here, cut the mums back ignore those. But here's a bulb. So muscari bulbs are very similar to tulips. You can see the sprout at the top and the roots at the bottom. We will put this guy about five inches deep and uh, with a bunch of his friends. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and dig each hole and put the bulb down in. Perfect. And then I'll wait to cover them over till everything's done so I can see where the bulbs are. And while I could go in with my, uh, auger, which is how we planted all the tulips. I cannot be a hundred percent sure exactly where the ribbon of tulips starts. So this this dirt has been ogged up a bunch since I plant annuals here. There's no reason to need the auger seat. There's a tulip right there. Instead we're going to go ahead with our hand shovel that way. We don't disturb any bulbs that are here. Don't dig it up, just uh, kind of dig next to it. want fluffy dirt around them but you know 
Again, we, we augged all of this when we planted the tulips, so it's going to be pretty fluffy. Thought I saw a daffodil shoot. Really don't want to mess up those bulbs. also see the beginnings of a daffodil bulb. I planted those daffodils last year and they never bloomed, never came up other than one. So let's see, maybe that daffodil will bloom this year. One poor daffodil it came up. Water it in. And hopefully when these tulips come up, the muscari will come up around them. All right, here's our itty bitty drumstick allium bulbs. These are so tiny, even tinier than the muscari, but we have 25 of them. It says to plant them three to five inches deep. So I'm going to plant them kind of all in front of this tree and see if we can't get some height here. I've got some iris bulbs glowing, growing up here that hopefully will fill in this space eventually, but they are special iris bulbs and I only have one of each right now. Um, so that's gonna take years. Might as well mix in some limes. Well, that did not take nearly as long as I thought it would. We got all 20 of the pink muscari planted, all 25 of the blue muscari planted, and all 25 of the drumstick alliums planted. Um, the blue muscari seemed to have the best sprouts and the bulbs looked the best. So hopefully at least those will bloom. But all of, I mean, all the pink muscari and all the drumstick alliums had shoots. So I'm crossing my fingers really hard that we get all kinds of pretty spring flowers this year. I cannot wait. I do a monthly garden tour, so if you are not subscribed to find out how these look, that is where I will be showing them off. Whatever comes up, the good, the bad, and the ugly, I show all of it, because that's kind of the point of gardening. Either way, I am going to go try to pull some weeds, because there's way too many. Bye, y'all.